finding your voice and how to live a better life because you found your voice. So last week I was talking about, you know, the step one of finding your potential. So if you haven't done that, you can watch this. It's not in any sequential order. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm, I'm, I want to continue with this finding your potential thing. I think it's so, so important. And finding your voice is key. It's key to finding your potential. So let's talk about that. Hey, my name is Nina Zapala. I always talk about spiritual personality typing. It's something I feel is so relevant for the times that we're entering into. Because I think if you don't find yourself, if you don't rediscover and recreate yourself to the who of who you really are, these times are going to be really, really, really tough. You're going to get swept away. And maybe in a place you don't want to be. Because you don't really understand yourself. So if you're going to get swept away in a place you don't want to be, I don't want that for you. We need you. We need you to be shining bright. We need you to be the best person you can be. Not in a marine type of way, be the best all you can be. No, that's a physical, that's all physical stuff. I'm talking from the inside out. From knowing that there is a spark of divine intelligence within you. And that's what I call your soul center. It's an illumination of your God self, of divine intelligence, of all the great I, all that I am, universal consciousness, Christ conscious, whatever you want to call that. It comes from a higher realm than where we are right now. And if you're questioning that, just turn on the news. <laughs> I mean, and a lot of that is, you know, manufactured because I think we get programmed a lot to be in fear. And that's why I think a lot of times we, we lose our voice because we've been taught to shut down our voice and take on the ideology of another's voice through religion, through school systems, educational systems, through our country culture, through our society, through the internet. It's a constant bombardment of someone else's wants and desires that slowly seep into your consciousness and when that happens you shut down your own authentic voice you shut down that spark because the voices that you're hearing from the external world they're fear-based they have you living in fear and fear can't communicate with that spark of divine within. Because fear and love don't mix. Two different energy levels. Fear is here on an energy plane. Love is here, well, way up here. So it's, it's, they don't work together. And that's what I talk. That's why I'm so passionate about spiritual personality typing. Because I want to get out, I want us to get out of this career-based typology into spiritual-based typology. So you start seeing your personality is sacred and you start seeing your soul self that's on a cosmic mission okay and your voice is part of that mission because if you can't express who you truly are your truth and you then you're expressing somebody else's narrative their truth you're speaking their language not your soul-centered language that's so important, but it starts really young, right? And it's, it, this is not an easy thing to do. But hopefully if you're listening to me, you're there. You wanna take the harder steps. And for that, I bet out to you because I, I think it's such a beautiful thing. I think it's beautiful. So when I talk about, you know, finding your voice and it does start early in life, I don't know about you, but you know, I grew up in a family of five and as a young kid, of course you're not filtered, right? And you're not all shut down already. So you're not operating out of fear. You're are, are pretty much operating out of your true self, your truth. So I'm an ENTP. So if anybody knows anything about 
you know, typology, you'll know that I ask a lot of questions. I love me a good debate. Um, it's how I learn. You know, I don't do it to be a bitch. I do it to learn, to grow myself. And so as a young kid, uh, I asked a ton of questions, a ton of questions. And my mom, busy, trying to raise five little kids under the age of 10, would just say, Nina, oh my God, too many questions. Go outside, go play, go color, go do this. Go. She just like had to shut it down because it was just like, and I don't ask easy questions. <laughs> my questions aren't easy. They're, they're, always, they're always pretty deep because I'm, I'm not a chit chat or I'm not a, you know, oh, you know, Where'd you get your shoes? And, and sometimes I do that because I do like beautiful things. But overall, I, I like to have deep conversations, deep, meaningful conversations that change the energy in the room, that elevate us. So, yeah. So I would ask my mom deep questions <laughs> and uh, she'd shut it down. I'm not playing the blame game with my parents because there's no reason to do that first off, you know. They were what they were. I was specifically chose my parents, my beliefs, okay, to learn my life lessons. And, and they gave me some great life lessons and they gave me bullshit lessons, but that's the duality of the world we live in. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go back there and blame my parents for that kind of stuff. That's just, that's a waste of energy to go backwards because where are you going if you're going backwards? It's like you're driving down the highway in the rearview mirror. What, what's, how's that work? So we don't want to do this, but I, the reason I'm bringing all this up is because you do lose your authentic voice at a very young age. And it continues. The bombardment continues as you go through school, as you go through college, in your religion, at work. You know, you just, you become separated from this authentic voice. And how I describe your voice is it's more than a verbal expression it's the truth coming from your soul center that's expressing itself out in the world because i believe words have energy and you know this is part of you know your personality and how you show up in the world so it's really important to figure this out Because the words you choose is the energy, is how you're gonna live, th live through that, how you're gonna express yourself. Choosing your words is an expression of yourself. It's, it's, an, it's the actions that you're gonna take. It's your thoughts manifesting. We know all that, right? So if you're not coming, if your voice isn't from who you are, your authentic self, whose voice is it? I know. Is it an external voice you've just been, it's, it's been pounded in your head and you just don't even question it? I want you to start questioning these things. It's really important. I'm telling you, the world is chaotic, as you know. Just, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna get any easier at this time, but if, you, if you're focused on who you are and who you wanna be and what you aspire to be, that's the world you're gonna create. So create that world, right? Step out of the fear world, which, I gotta tell you, the people who are creating the fear want you to live in the fear because they want to control it. You know? How many people that, that do you know that might not, you know, that like to control every single thing? So, but these people are at a very much elevated level of control. <laughs> They're just trying to control everything. And, and if that's what you're, if, if you're okay with that, good. But if you're not, if you're sick of all the bullshit, of being told what to do and how to show up. Look, the great resignation is, is a total sign to me that people are awakening. They want to figure themselves out. They want to live their life according to their own rules, to their own systems, to their own truth. They're done. They're done with all this bullshit. Yay. That makes me so excited. But finding your voice is part of that. It's part of knowing who you are. It's part, of, it's part of you getting to your potential. Because if you're speaking in a voice that's not yours, you can't reach your full potential. How are you going to reach that? You know? You're not. And it's this funny thing because I was told a lot um, 
when I was out in the business world and so forth. And you know, I grew up in a different time than it is today, obviously. But one of the things I was told a lot was like, you gotta compete. You gotta be a hitter, you gotta do this. You gotta sit at the table, you know? And uh, so I did. Now I look at all that stuff and I'm like, man, do I look like I'm like a hitter that's gonna go a room and like, I can be aggressive, don't get me wrong. I can be very aggressive and very intense. It's just my personality type. But I don't ever come from it from a win at all costs or make the money or, you, you know, move aside. I, I don't do that. I don't step on people to get that. I use my voice. I've always used my voice. Now my voice has discernment. It has wisdom because I, I've taken the steps to do that. I've created a relationship with God, a friendship. So I know when my true voice is speaking because I have the friendship. So I know that it's pure and it's of peaceful and it's, 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 it's speaking from a place of inspiration and expansion instead of judgment and ego and fear. So I, there's a lot more in the blog that I get into, but I wanted to go back to competition for a minute because I want you to really hear this, right? Don't you, Take out a journal, just just write this thing down or come back to this place. Um, it's 11.34, five timestamp. Um, but you know, we're, we're taught to compete. Compete, 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 compete with each other. You know, gotta compete. But I have this to say. So if you're competing against another person, if you believe like I believe, that everyone is a masterpiece of all on their own. So if you're competing against someone competing against yourself basically right how can you compete against another masterpiece how 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 do you do that I'm trying to think of uh, the mo is it the Monet lilies which I love Monet okay I, I go to art because you know we often associate art with masterpieces but how do you how do you how do you paint that masterpiece from that person from that person's total expression of divine intelligence how do you compete with that you don't compete with that and if you do you're competing against yourself because you're your own masterpiece so what are you competing against so then what you're doing in in a sense and essentially is copying somebody you're trying to copy and do it their way and again, you lose your you lose your authentic voice. So I really wanted you to hear that because I think it's really important. But okay, there's a lot more in the blog. So head on over to the blog, ninasapala.com. There's a journal prompt. So I have some really meaty questions. Because I want you guys to get this. It's really important. Um I do soul sessions, which are they go pretty deep. Because I'm gonna try to excavate, you know, I, I wanna look at your personality in great detail. Make sure you know the right, your right personality because a lot of people don't. And then they're like, well, that's not me. I'm like, I know because it's not your personality type. So how could that be you? Which is, which is not good because you're going through life thinking one thing. And especially how stereotypical and oversimplified and just how biased and prejudiced personality typing has gotten. Again, it's separation, separation, separation. Um, it's, not what that, it's not what it's for. Personality typing is sacred because it indicates your characteristics, behaviors, values. It's how you show up in the world. It is not who you are. Because you are a divine spark of, of God. Or Allah, whatever you want to say. Fill in the blank. That's who you really are. You're an eternal being. Okay? Your personality types here to help you on this mission here on earth. That's what that's, that's what I believe. That's what I truly believe. That's been channeled to me. It's been downloaded to me. I've been told on numerous occasions, Nina, get your damn book out there. So I'm working on that. It, it's, and I even have an editor now. Yay, I'm so excited. Anyhow, back to what this. So soul sessions go deep because we really get looking into your personality type. And then we, I, tr I try to um, um, bring about like a, a, a nice, um, spiritual practice for you that that are integrated that work with your personality 
type. You know, so many times people show up for a master class or some spiritual thing, whatever's going on, and their, their friends like, man, this is so cool. Are you loving it? And you're like, no, I'm not really relating at all. It's because your personality type's different. So don't judge yourself that you're not good enough or you're not smart enough because you totally are. It's just, you just have the wrong thing. It's, not, it's That's an easy peasy fix. Um, and I also do travel typing sessions, which are fun. It's like how you travel, how you show up in the world. So I look at your personality type. And I do I do have a, a component there that's very intentional. Um, so when you travel too, you you are connecting back into yourself. It's not, it's not all just about unbridled consumption, which I call uh, vanity vacations. I'm not into that at all. Um, that's what's causing over tourism and we're ruining the earth because of it. And I'm, that's not me. but. Those are cool sessions too. So you might want to, you know, consider both of those and get on the newsletter. I always talk about something cool in the newsletter that I don't speak of anywhere else. I just do like a little guidance tips and they're cool. They're, there's just, I start the newsletter with that and help you think some things through. And I always, always a spark. I want to always be sparking you and always be changing perceptions and opening you up to new ideas and thoughts. Cause when you're open to new ideas and thoughts, that's when expansion comes in not change I don't want you to change yourself I want you to evolve yourself you don't want to change the your sacred personality it was given to you for a reason don't change it evolve it it's it's two different ways of looking at that okay yeah I'm all about different perspectives but hopefully you're enjoying it all right guys I gotta go because I'm getting bit up like crap um, it's mosquito season here I know it's crazy but uh it's all good it's all good. At least it's not raining and thundering. Because every time I shoot one of these videos, it's raining or thundering. But we will talk next week. Please subscribe, like, or share. Sorry, I got a hair up my nose. It's driving me crazy. And uh, share this with somebody if you think they'd like it. I totally appreciate it. I appreciate the love and the comments. You guys are awesome. I know my I have a small channel right now, and I'm okay with that. Because uh, I love doing this. It's just, to me, it's just pure joy. And this is what I love doing. So I'm going to keep on doing it. I don't care if I have two people. I don't care if I just reach one person. Because you know what they say. One person that's enlightened is more powerful than a million than art. So if I enlighten you today, go out and use that power, Ben. I'm all for it. Bye, guys. Have a great rest of the week. Nina.